It was a laugh, wasn't it? Friday night's uh, bloodbath at the two by-elections in Wellingborough and Kingswood. Rishi Sunak took to the Daily Telegraph yesterday to call for a unification of the British right. Conservatives unite. Stop Sir Keir Starmer making his way into number 10. But you know what I say to that? The same as Richard Tice. Get stuffed. No way in hell are we having a repeat of 2019 when the Brexit party stood aside for Boris Johnson and handed him the keys to number 10. I say the Tories deserve electoral wipeout. The arrogance, the absolute well, thought that they've got a divine right to rule forever and ignore their members and adopt no conservative policies. You're going to get what you deserve, Mr Sunak. Albie, <laughs> isn't it ironic that Rishi Sunak, your man, has come out with the begging bowl after obliteration in the uh, by-elections on Friday night. Uh, by yes. the way, sorry, <laughs> yes. sorry, you say the reform took uh, Tory vote. Tory, Tory party doesn't own reform votes. It doesn't own anyone's vote. It has to earn votes. And I'd say if you want to win the election, get rid of the Liberal Democrats. I know, who are they? Where are they? Ouch. And secondly, <laughs> it's Conservative HQ that are their problems. So you can change the leader, if you like, of the Tory party. The vehicle remains the same. Weak, liberal, and totally submissive to bad international but human Belinda, rights law. Belinda, high taxes Belinda, and open borders. We fundamentally disagree with you, Albie, because I hate this idea that you'd take away choice from voters. On the left, we've long had an equivalent, which is the Liberal Democrats and the Green Party. But I disagree strongly with this progressive coalition suggestion that some on the left make, because people are entitled to have the full choice. And frankly, I think the Lib Dems and Greens are very different. I don't accept they're the same. Always have no one but themselves, Darren, to blame for not getting in power. Don't blame reform voters. They've, they've taken the trust of their Conservative supporters, spat on it, chewed it out, and said, oh, please vote for us. Please, trust us this time. Yeah. Second point I would make is that actually I don't think Conservative voters overwhelmingly backed reform. I think many of them out there just didn't come out. Mm. They just refused to vote. And that leads on to my third point. That's because they feel utterly let down. They feel that that 2019 promise, which was uh, manifested from the 2016 promise of, of taking back control and everything that Brexit offered the people of this country, I think we all feel massively let down yeah. by the Conservative did, did, you, did you see for the first time, well, he gave the clearest hint yet yesterday, Nigel Farage. He said he was answering a question about whether he would slither into the Conservative Party once uh, it's all said and done and they're, you know, crawling on their knees after annihilation. He said, you know what? You never know what will happen. Uh, who knows whether the party could be moulded in my image or Jacob's image or Pretty Patel. Or I mean, at this point, Nigel Farage is doing a better tease than most OnlyFans models. Yeah, I, I think it is just a tease. The Conservative Party, at its core, is a complete and utter, I think, aberration. I think it's totally deserved the country. It's lied and lied and lied to us. It's not just going back on its manifesto. Mm -hmm. We'll do whatever it takes to, to stop the boats. Yeah. No, you won't, liars. Nonsense. You won't do, you'll do the bare minimum. Yeah. Hold us a few breadcrumbs. Stop about two people getting across and saying it's a win. Boris Johnson, who liberalised immigration rules after Brexit and let in hundreds of thousands of more people. It was Boris Johnson well, who not... married himself to this net zero stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say one other thing, which is I think the Tory party is in serious risk because I know that Richard Tyson so I was reading a New Statesman, a magazine I'm sure you've never read, <laughs> that reform are hoping to be on 20% by summer, which is about what the Tories are on. And I think we are at a juncture, an historic juncture in British politics, where you could see the oh, Tory party fragment and an alternative come take its it. place. I agree. I think political stands are shifting, and I say vote with your conscience and principles instead of rewarding failure, and you'll see the change in the country that we all need.